Hello our dear viewers, welcome to the weekly UCU Focus TV news. My name is Hosanna Inamani, bringing to you this week's bulletin. But first, let's have the headlines. Induction of the first year students. Gill government hosts the UCU Connect. Starts of the University Football League. On Tuesday, 24th September 2024, UCU held its induction service for the Advent Semester in Koyoyo Hall. The first year students have been officially welcomed into the university. On the 24th of September, Uganda Christian University had its induction of the first year students of the Advent Semester. It began with a service led by the chaplain, then the induction by the vice chancellor. The event concluded with a sermon from the deputy vice chancellor, Mr. David Mugabe. And here I will summarize it because I know that our time is far spent. But I will summarize the key issues in the last few days. One, that if we are to align our hearts to Christ and his word, there are three things that I would like to see you out. One is for us seeking God with all our hearts. Seeking God with all our hearts. We asked a few of the new students about their short experience at the University. At my first week here has actually introduced me to the school very well. It is just more than what you used to hear from outside, actually. It is a new experience I've never gotten before, but I even got to know very many things about UCU, such as the size. In fact, I was surprised so much by the size of the school. I thought it was just a small university, but my God, it is surely a big university, very beautiful, nice and clean. So the experience I got, I'm very happy with the students from my faculty, those all these students. They welcomed us very well. They gave us all the assistance as we needed and they guide us almost every day. We interact with them. They don't segregate or like we are in second year or third year, we can't speak to these ones who have just come. Like they include us in everything they do. And I'm very happy with them. And so everyone gives us that kind of experience. There's a lot of unity and cooperation and the environment is very cool, very clean, not crowded. You walk at your pace and you don't fight for anything. I just love the university. And what is your takeaway? What is your takeaway in today's service? In today's service, actually, it is actually introducing some of us, though me, I'm not part of those who are not too much into faith or in, who are weak in relationship with God. It is a very good introduction of how to live a Christian life in a Christian university what you expect in a university, whether good or bad, and how we have to live with our faith or build our faith around God in everything we do here. In fact, it was a good teaching that is going to change most of us, our way of life and the things we do. There was a lot of encouragement academically and even challenges. By the way, they promised us of counselors within the universities in case you're going through any challenge. So this university is just, I think, five star and everything. Thank you. Um, I came to this school three weeks back and something I found that is different from other universities, that unique part of UCU, the dress code, the, the cleanliness around this campus, really good. And also the students themselves, they really look good, they look presentable when it comes maybe to like job and stuff. And that thing that is in them that we have to be smart. Hmm? You come on Monday here, you find uh, lawyers, like those people are doing law, they the dress and stuff, you'll be like, wow, I want to be like those guys. Like, I want to also dress like them. So there's that thing that they put in you that really makes you admire the school and also like appreciate where you are, you know? It's a, it's a different world now we are in we, from high school now we are here at university. You got to live on your own. You, you, 
you have to hustle for supper, you have to hustle for lunch, you know. So it's a really a different environment and very challenging, but somehow helping to like grow us mentally. Yes, and what is your takeaway for today's induction service? Uh, today's induction service, I love the fact that the deputy vice chancellor mentioned the uniqueness in UCU students. That a UCU student, when he goes for a job interview, he's recognized like easily the way you speak, the way you, you, you dress, you know. I told you here, it's, it's like a different world I've seen. There is smartness this side, the society, like the, the society is just clean and people are helping, like there's unity in this institution, which is not that much into other maybe universities, because I've been to mobs and other schools, but this is really unique and I love that. Thank you so much. Having talked to many of the year one students, they say that their experience is a good one. Jemima Treasure, Sechisaka, reporting for Focus TV. The 26th Guild Government organized a career expo term, the UCU Connect, in which different organizations had the pleasure to connect with the UCU students to create a network in their professional endeavors. Let's have a look. I'm particularly excited to see Tony. Is an event organized by the UCU. Glad to see you. Tony, we have to work together in the morning. You know what Students from different faculties come together to share different. Yes, Tony is a very good friend of mine, and I'm, I'm excited. I know he's very passionate about it. It's based on the theme the relationship you build today. Tell us why they introduced the UCU Connect. Yes, um, firstly, the one thing you need to understand is that the target audience was UCU students. That's why they call it the UCU Connect. And our theme was that the relationships we build today will help us um, in our careers. We understand that when we're at university, students often have the theory, but they don't have the experience. So when we get men that have been in the working field and they can answer those questions and give them a miniature picture of what happens while you're at work, um, they know that there's a slight difference. How do you prepare? For example, yes, you're taught theory of research, but how are you going to do the research when you're on ground? So uh, UCU Connect is really a reconciliation of your theory from class to the practical, which is the work experience. All right, all right. So t uh, what is the importance of this Connect to the UCU, the UCU community and also maybe the outside? Okay, is it mainly the, uh, for UCU or it benefits even the people outside? What is the importance? Yeah, like I said, majorly, the target audience was UCU students, but we don't, uh, we can't restrict it and say the outsiders cannot show up. They can come through, yeah? And uh, the importance of this event to the UCU students is that we are bringing people who have been in the field for some time. Like, for example, we have... Uh, the impact outsourcing, we have law firms here, we have uh, people who from different HR firms. So what we're trying to do here, the importance is to give them a picture of where they're going. You get it? What is the field, what is the law field looking like? What is the media field looking like? What, what are you expected to do now? Because like you, you hear in conversation with AI in the picture, it could replace you, it could do a lot of things. But what are those particular things that you can do that AI can't do yet? Or how can you use AI in a creative way to be efficient? All right. Thank you so much. To showcase what is the power of technology in various sectors. People in agriculture, what is ICT like? Or people in healthcare, what is ICT like? So we want to bring together people to illustrate what ICT is like. And those people are eager to see what technology can do. So you may be a student here wondering, um, what can ICT do in the legal fraternity? What can it do in my agriculture side as well. Right, brighter minded. I'm gonna give you a student planner because you told me the organization, what you've done. Yeah, I have these things, these books, they are quite many and they are for you. So just know you have to be very, very sharp. Let me go behind. One more person. Uh, hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Kia Allen Olai. Uh, Kia, how has this UCU Connect been of help to you? 
Um, the use of NECT has been a very much help, if I'm to start by that. Um, it, made, it has enabled me to connect with different people. I have had a chance to listen to different people. I've seen Danzi around. He's very influential in the digital sector. And as a lawyer, I've seen lawyers there who have already made it, and it's great inspiration, and I'm glad I'm here. Yes. Well, well, thank you so much. And finally, the UCU Cardinals opened up their first round group stage game at home against St. Florence University, this being the opening game for the University Football League. William Opio has more to this story. The UCU Cardinals hosted the St. Lawrence University team in a thrilling match at the UCU main football pitch. The first half was filled with back-to-back -back attacks from both teams with UCU having more and better chances of scoring. Abel Obura, the number seven, missed a crucial chance which could have given UCU the lead. Bitty Harry opened the scores with a wonderful free kick into the net. St. Lawrence then equalized through a header by Zibara Roni after an error by the UCU goalkeeper who had come out of his line. Uganda Christian University and I just want him to tell us how the match has been and what has been one of his biggest highlights from this match. Thank you coach. Uh, kindly tell us uh, what has been your biggest highlight from this match and what do you have to say about it? Yeah well we, 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 we had a game here at UCU against Central University. I would say it, is, uh, it, it was a good game but not to the expectation that we, we wanted. Of course, we wanted to win the game, but the highlight is uh, we, we played at least better, uh, being that we have a lot of new players, but we could see at least they're trying out to catch up. You know, game one with almost uh, nine players uh, who, who are new, it is, it is not easy. Uh, we have only trained maybe for around three weeks with them, uh, but that's not the reason. The reason is uh, at least we see the picture that we want to see. Uh, within the tournament, they are going to grow up, uh, they are going to become better, and we shall end up playing the way we want to play. All right, coach. So, what could be the what thing would you think that they do, would really improve so that uh, next time they would really do better and so that they could merge out with a win? What is the thing that you would say that they would have done better so that they could merge out our winners? Surely, we want to. We, we definitely want to improve our confidence. Uh, playing at home, we needed to play with much more confidence, uh, which I don't think we we, 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 we we were able to do. But I know, uh, of course, the confidence comes in when they train together, get used to each other for some time, uh, it is going to come up. 
we wanted to control the game more the way we did, uh, but we, we, did not, we did not have that opportunity because, uh, of course, a few players don't trust each other maybe, they do not know each other's strengths and weaknesses, but this comes with time, of course. Uh, I know by game two we shall be in a better shape. All right, thank you so much, Coach. The captain of Uganda Christian University, and just go and tell us the highlights from the game. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Muidu David Elton, the captain for Uganda Christian University. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank the Almighty God. As we know that uh, everything happens for a reason, we thank God for a point we've got at home. It has not been an easy game uh, for us to play uh, because... W uh, we've been struggling somewhere uh, because we have very many uh, new players at the pitch and uh, we use a little time to prepare ourselves uh, but uh, we know that uh, at the coming game we have very many weeks uh, to prepare so I think uh, we shall build up uh, on the mistakes of today to improvise for the coming game. Alright, uh, so what was your biggest highlight in this particular game? Yeah, my biggest highlight in this game, it's a uh, it's uh, the moment we got uh, where we scored the goal. Uh, the new player created the, uh, uh, the chance for us to score. And then uh, our striker converted the chance uh, very well. Uh, that's why today we've gained a point at home. All right. Thank you so much, Onyango, for your time. Okay. Uh, William Opio, reporting for Focus TV. That was it for this week. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our weekly bulletin and please be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms as you see you Focus TV. Till next time, bye bye.